The bear used in gubernatorial candidate John Cox's campaign during a stop at Shelter Island may have violated San Diego City rules. We first broke the news on our 10 News website this afternoon. The San Diego Humane Society launched an investigation. Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha shows us the response from Cox's campaign. Tag the bear accompanied candidate John Cox when he stopped at Shelter Island on Tuesday. The Kodiak bear often getting more attention than Cox's politics. One of the organizations protesting the use of the animal, lions, tigers and bears, an animal sanctuary in the East County. We so need change in California. We so need change, but not at expense of using an animal. And I think the public doesn't realize how many of these animals are used, abused and dumped. They can't use them forever. The lucky ones end up at a sanctuary like mine and a lot of them just disappear out the back door. Now the bear could get the Republican candidate in legal trouble. Under San Diego Municipal Code, that type of event is prohibited. I spoke to Bill Ganley. He's a chief of humane law enforcement for the San Diego Humane Society. He confirmed the Humane Society received a complaint Tuesday about the campaign event. While the investigation is not complete, Ganley said the code is clear. No person shall offer for sale, give away, bring into or maintain in the city of San Diego certain wildlife, including a bear. Under the code, there are a few exceptions like a legally operated zoo. In this case, Ganley said the video tells a story. It doesn't matter how well trained they are, where they're from, whether they've been involved in the movie industry or not. Um, the municipal code just does not allow for this to happen. So what happens now? We just have to determine who is responsible for uh, the event. We'll submit our investigation results to the city attorney's office. They have the jurisdiction on any infraction or misdemeanor in the city of San Diego. A spokesperson for Cox's campaign told Team 10 Wednesday afternoon every care was taken to ensure tags comfort and safety with the approval of several government agencies. California needs beastly change and that may ruffle some feathers of left wing activists. Melissa Masiha, Team 10. Team 10 contacted the city attorney's office to find out what punishment a violation of that kind of code carries. We are still waiting to hear back.